So the Domino's situation, uh, Mr. Patrick Doyle, the president, is uh, putting up a video responding to the big uh, thing that's going on um, out there that, uh, that, you know, two employees did something dirty. Now, first of all, real quick, I think Patrick does a great job by addressing it head on right away. Brilliant move. One thing I would say is, you know, reading off a teleprompter does not make it genuine. Mr. Doyle, I'm sure you could have just done that from the heart. Don't let your PR team give you all the proper words. All you needed to really say was what you said, which is, come on, uh, if we're really gonna think that two people in the world can affect your brand that globally, I know there's a lot of press around it, but if anybody is naive enough to think that this is only a Domino's issue and that this can't be done at McDonald's or KFC or anywhere in the world, they're being extremely naive. And I think it's great that you uh, addressed it head on. But what I want to talk about is the aftermath of this. I was just on a call two seconds ago. That's what led me to jump on this flip cam. And I was talking to a brand. As many of you know, AJ and I are launching a company called Vayner Media. So we're, uh, we're uh, um, consulting for a lot of consumer and personal brands. Things are going fairly well. Got a lot of good projects going. Landed some big deals already. But most of all, this brand is now scared. They don't want to, uh, they don't want to uh, do it. They're like, look at what happened at Domino's. I think that's great. I mean, it's, it sucks to lose a uh, consulting opportunity, but it's great that a lot of people are not gonna get involved in social media because of this. Because that just lets the people that are smart and get it have a bigger opportunity for market share. If you're a brand and you're scared off by this, you completely have no clue of where the world is today. This is opportunity to communicate. Domino's situation is actually the reason social media is awesome or quote unquote social media, I just call it business. Um, the fact that Domino's has the same outlet to go out and apologize and address the issue right away and be authentic, they win. They were very authentic except for the reading of the teleprompter. Don't, don't look over here, look directly into the camera. You know what you wanna say, Patrick. Um, so, here's what I think. I think it's great that people are not gonna get involved in this space because they're scared of this, because it leaves more for all of us that get it. I also think it's great for the people that understand what Domino's did was exactly right, addressing it head on. Unlike Amazon for the Amazon fail where they waited two or three days after their mistake to address it. Um, and I also think it's absolutely phenomenal um, that people think this is the downside of branding and social media. You have no choice, this is gonna happen anyway. You can't close your eyes. You know, this is the downsides of social media. Uh, this is not the downside, this is the reality. Everybody has a voice, but more importantly, the truth wins. I'm happy those two employees are in trouble. Um, I don't want them to have a felony, I think people are taking it to extreme, I mean, people wanna burn them. Um, but I, I think it's great that because of all these tools and technologies, so much can go on. As a matter of fact, Domino's, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, you want a good idea? Why don't you start you streaming live from your back of your room so we can all watch? I'd love to watch on my iPhone on a live streaming app like a kite or something like that of the back room and watch them make my burger. You wanna be transparent and authentic? Do that. I mean, the game's changing, guys. The game is changing. You cannot control your message. It's owned by the people. The way you respond and address things is the whole game. See ya.